Undertale is the best game of all time. Well, as well as Final Fantasy IX and Minecraft. And I made my best costume dedicated to this fandom. Napster Blook. This is a full late suit, a perfect option for internet cosplayers, as I am. And I am gonna tell you how I made it. If you want to make some kind of ghost costume, as from all of those TikTok edits, this video will be also helpful for you. I made this costume actually a long time ago, back in 2017 for a local anime convention. It was so fun, I got recognized by so many people, they hugged me a lot and made tons of big how we laying on the floor and feeling ourselves like a garbage. <sighs> Wonderful. And now for this Halloween I decided to wear it again and also upgrade it a little bit. I haven't even unpacked it yet, so let's do this together, shall we? Here I have my t-shirt with a mini version of Nab's the Blue. I made it so I will be able to take off the main costume but still be recognized at the convention. And here comes that boy! This costume consists of two parts, fabric cover and solid structure inside of it. And I made it out of paper mache, of course, <laughs> what else can I make? Main white part is for holding the shape of the costume. I made it out of cardboard and covered it with multiple layers of paper mache for straight. And put foam rubber on top so it will look smooth. Also, it has a helm part, so I was able to wear it on my head. Hunger holds this structure and also helps to hold it on head. And I don't know why this elastic is attached so strangely. Maybe it came off on the convention? I don't know. And the main body I sewed out of simple white cotton fabric. And painted Napsablook's face on one of them with black acrylic paint for fabric. And I actually used some kind of pattern out of paper so it would look more canonical. I cut a little hole at the top and sew with white net in there, so I will be able to see something. <laughs> and I cut this nose part and sewed it on top of the net. I'm so proud of how it turned out. I drew this little simple seam with the measurements, so you can press pause and take a screenshot and use it for your costume. And I'm gonna rework it a little cause yeah, this boy needs some attachments for sure. First of all, I'm gonna wash it in the washing machine, but only for 15 minutes so it won't ruin acrylic paint. And yeah, everything stayed in place, very good. What I want to do is to sew extra fabric piece into the sides of my Napster look so it can be thicker. I had my previous costume like 2D and it can turn into 3D and sits on inner construction more properly. Properly. But for this, I need to rip off everything first and this took me a lot of time. First of all, rip off the lower part and then the sides. Oh yeah, it was so long. After two intense ripping off hours, I ironed everything and prepared the sides. I used actually leftovers of Naps Plug's origin fabric, but it was a little bit shorter, so I did a third extra piece from another white fabric that I had. I was way too lazy to measure everything, so I just cut some lay with the same width as other pieces and sewed all them together in one long piece. So I could just cut extra leftovers later. Ironing everything, it's very important, don't forget to do this. Then I found the top of the Naps Blue, <laughs> like the middle of the wall body, and pinned the long side part with the middle to this top point. And then carefully pinned everything, wall long side fabric to the back of the body. Us took me two hours. And then sewed it on my sewing machine. Yeah, you know, the idea of the wall costume is so simple, but it takes so much damn time to sew everything. This was very exhausting. But slowly and carefully, everything comes together. And after ironing, it needs only to pin down again the same thing, but this time the front part. Oh, she, here we go again. This time I left some holes on the sides for my arms. When I did this costume for the first time, I made only one hole for one hand. I don't know why. <laughs> this time I made two holes for both of my arms. 
Now I cut extra fabric from the bottom of the sides. I don't know why they are not even and actually I don't care. I need only to sew properly the edges of armholes and the wall lower edge. I pinned it too with needles and then sewing on my sewing machine hard baby bunny it up inside. I'm sorry. And finally it's done. It was not complicated to sew but it took so much time and so many needles. But I was very happy how it turn it out now naps look is big and thick yeah now it is time for inner construction i carefully took off an old scotch helmet and hanger first of all i did another couple layers of paper mache i wanted to make it harder so i won't need to use any support like hangers and stuff i used not a thin newsprint but thicker office paper I used it for the first time for paper mache. I was afraid that it will make the surface way too bulky, but it turned out pretty smooth. I for sure am going to use it in my next projects. And also, it was for the first time for me to use glossy paper from magazines. And this experiment was not that successful. Well, good thing that I used everything just for hardening, so I didn't need a smooth surface. Glossy paper makes the surface way too uneven, but it made everything hard for sure. Spoiler alert, I should probably use this hanger thing, but we will talk about it later. And also, since my naps blue became thicker, I needed to put it higher on my head so I would be able to wear it properly. So I glued it with the same paper mache technique as this plastic bucket. It turned out very hard. Paper mache can actually stick to absolutely everything. And then I sewed it to my helmet. Yeah, you know, sewing looks more reliable to me than super glue. I also sewed elastic to the helmet so it would sit on my head properly. Yeah, it looked like this at the end. It looks very avant-garde. <laughs> So this is how I made this amazing epic costume, the best costume in my cosplay career. I'm wearing it with white sleek blouse and white gloves so I can use my hands in this costume and it will look organic. I wore this costume at a local little Halloween geek convention where I filmed a very fun little video with naps to blue clay around everywhere. My friend helped me with all that footage. <laughs> <laughs> and I got so many compliments about my look and so many people like this costume. I'm so very happy that people still know and like Undertale, such an amazing game. I adore it. But after this I realized that my paper mache base bent anyway, so I really needed to put the hanger or some other kind of support inside of it. And it also could help to carry this construction on the head properly, cause it's pretty often slides off my head. I hope that this video will help you with your ghost's Halloween costumes next year. Cause you can draw whatever face you want on the fabric. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!